Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another Analyze This. Today we're going to be jumping into a game between Flash and Best. Probably this is one of my favorite matchups ever of all time, Flash vs. Best, because the reason why is Flash is known for almost breaking Taren vs. Protoss. Um, Taren was... Terran in general is a weaker race than Protoss in the matchup. Protoss is supposedly favored. But Flash is just so good at this matchup that it just doesn't... I mean, Flash is Flash, but like, he literally showed Terrans how to beat Protosses again. In a time where I think the, the Dragoons, well, the Dragons were running around, like not giving a damn about anything, just, just destroying Terrans left and right. And Best, Best style clashes almost perfectly with... Flashes because they're both big macro players huge macro players and so when you consider things Best style does go well against flashes like it go it, like it's supposed to beat flash And this is the reason why best was known for the quote-unquote flash killer like people thought he was the flash killer When in reality, I think the record is actually not too different i think i think they're pretty even uh, so he's not the flash killer but i guess anyone with like an even matchup against flashes is, is pretty damn good let's just say that um so anyways circuit breakers flash uh best flash oh, he got the shitty position i'm not gonna lie Fla so the top right position on circuit breaker has the gas at a weird angle it's not directly above the command center it's one hex off to the right here i'll pause the video real quick once he goes kind of back up to the command center um, if he's ever gonna do it. So if you notice, look at this refinery up here. It's not directly on top of it, which means you actually need four guys on this gas to fully be able to uh, get the most efficiency out of it. Everything else, you only need three. So this is like the worst position in the game, basically. So right off the bat, Flash already has a disadvantage. I'm just kidding. It's not the reason why he's gonna lose this game. If he does, I haven't watched this game yet. We're gonna analyze it. Um, so it looks like Flash is going for you know pretty standard um, Rax gas. He didn't go for an 11-11. Uh, he went for 11-12. Uh, Best looks like he opted for the uh, core first. No Zealot, which is pretty standard in 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 today's game, especially the pro level. You don't see Zealot first too often um, because it's just I mean people know how to micro against uh, Zealots in, at this level. Looks like, wow, Flash pulled every guy off of gas. That's that's pretty ballsy. I guess he assumed that Best was just going to go all open up with some kind of uh, one gate expand, maybe? Because he has literally no guys on gas right now. He just, I guess Flash really, really wants his command center out as soon as possible. Actually, am I on HD right now? Okay, I am. Just, just want to double check. Sometimes I feel like my video quality is not as good. I guess I guess because I'm I'm recording from like not a source, but I don't know. Anyways, so yeah, Flash put one guy back onto gas once this uh, factory looks like it was about two thirds, three fourths of the way done. And yeah, it looks like Best has opted for the uh, one nex or the one gate nexus or after core at least. This is pretty interesting. Best is not scouted. He really needed those minerals, I guess, for that. Um, looks like Flash is going to start his command center up on the high ground. Looks like this is going to be a Siege Expand build. And Flash has been toying around with his Siege Expand build for forever. Um, as we know, Flash is a huge, huge, huge macro player. Uh, really wants to be able to get those command centers up and running as soon as possible. And so I've seen him tweak his build. Before, it used to be Siege Expand would be you go tank, Siege mode, and then command center. Flash changed up the build a little bit to go... Um, Factory while it's building the machine shop you build or before even before the factory is finished you'd build a command you'd build a command center um, Obviously you would leave one guy on gas, but now he's even sped it up a little bit faster. He's just opted for uh, No guys on gas for a period of time just to really get out that um, command center and Obviously, this is really scary because if you're the Terran player in this position You have to be really careful that your opponent doesn't go power goon because I think a power goon just hard counters this build that he's going for so definitely this is the reason why he wanted to send out a scout pretty early. He got, obviously got a little bit lucky with seeing the scout off really fast. Um, but definitely as, as a Terran player, or as any player in general, when you're going for a slightly risky style of build, you definitely, definitely, definitely want to make sure that you are getting um, the scouting information you need in order to adjust your build. Because remember, a build order is just a build order at the end of the day. It's not, the, it's not perfect. Um, is he going for FD actually? This is so weird. I'm so confused right now. Um, 
He's got Vorture. Is that mines? It might be. It, I guess it is. It has to be, right? Why would he get a Vulture? Oh, it is mines. Cool. This is quite interesting. Um, but best, by the way, is going for Reavers. So a, a new hot build these days in PVT is the Reaver Carrier build, where basically you utilize Reavers uh, to kind of keep the Terran back in his base, and then you go up for uh, double Stargate Carriers. And you do this off of like two or three bases. And the point of the Reaver is you want to be able to um, keep the Terran back in his base for as long as possible while you're stalling for Reavers. And it's a very strong build order these days. And, and this is, the, I guess, I'm not sure if Best is going to carry carriers. Best is not very good with carriers, I'm not going to lie. Um, he's got a gas coming up pretty early though. Uh, maybe just for two base Arbiter after the, the, uh, the Reaver. But Reaver is coming out now. Flash doesn't have an uh, engineering bay. He's finally getting it. This is quite late. I think the Reaver is going to be done before then. Yeah. So it's going to be well. It's going to be done well before um, anything is is getting finished by Flash. No turrets out when this Reaver comes out. He really needs a scan in, in the back of like best base right now. You just Flash is really good with these scans, but I guess not not today. By the way, Flash can safely assume that Best has taken his natural expansion. This is generally like how it goes. He's not metagaming him. It's just like even if Best didn't have an expansion, like Best would be so far behind. Um, but Flash is playing really safe right now. This is good. I think he's kind of scared about it. Yeah, he's going for uh, Reaver into two base Arbiter. So pretty standard as well. Yeah, it's, it's either it's either Arbiter or, or, or two base Carrier. Sometimes people, there's probably these days also go for like a three base big Zealot Dragoon army style. Um, but here comes the shuttle, and now Flash is going to see it. Going to be able to ward that shuttle away for quite a bit, actually. Um, he really had his units in a, in a pretty good position, and didn't even allow a single reaver shot to come out yet. But but just even the, the point of this build is even if Best doesn't do any damage to the reaver, he's forcing Flash to kind of stay back in his base. Otherwise, the reaver is going to come in and kill off a ton of his units. Ooh, nice kill there. Vulture going down. Ooh, Siege, mode, Siege Tank does end up getting a hit on that Reaver. Uh, but Flash is going to go expand now. And so this is, like, here's the thing, right? Because of the fact that he's able to keep Flash kind of pinned back in his base until Flash is able to get out, like, a ton of missile turrets out across his, uh, across his base, he's going to be unable to deal with it. Really nice by Best there, stalling out that command center from going up, forcing it. But unfortunately now that... SCV is going to go right back onto that command center. First armory now coming out for Flash as well. So Flash is just going to go standard, you know, three or four base. The issue with this spawn location for Bess is actually, I, I would have liked him to take that the base at the 9 o'clock, not this mineral only, because Flash can expand to the 12 o'clock. And from there, he's going to be able to shell out that base with, um, with, a, with his siege tanks behind a supply depot wall. It's very common on this map to do. Especially in this specific spawn location. Flash, gotta be careful. He's gonna pick off another SV. So this is really good. Reaver, Reaver control is so difficult uh, for this very reason. Because you gotta be like really... In order to utilize Reavers to the best of their ability, you need to be able to really micromanage them really well. As you see one SCV coming out, doing a little building, you gotta kill it, right? You see uh, one Vulture kind of out of position, gotta kill it. And that's how you really are able to effectively use Reavers. Reavers, a lot of people think, oh, Reavers, you know, yeah, harassment-based units. They are a harassment-based unit, but at the same time, they're also really good at just picking off units here or there. So here it comes. This is what I'm talking about right now. Reaver, nicely done, picks off a Siege Tank. Really good Reaver control here by Best. Process these days are just getting super good at it. Picks up a marine. And again, remember, scares only like 15, 15 uh, minerals. So they're just not really worth too much. And yeah, this is what I'm talking about here. Flash, getting this position, starting to build up the bunkers, starting to build up the, the supply depots out in front. This is where it gets really difficult for Process. Because now Flash is actually out expanding uh, Best. But Best, the reason why he is out expanding him is because of the fact that Best has opted for that two base Arbiter. If Best went for the more macro style, going for a ton of bases, he would have already had like about five bases at this point. Scans going down, trying to see if there's any carriers going down. That's where, that's where that scan was going. A lot of people are saying, why did he scan there? It's because that like little corner of the base by best is where a lot of players like to build their tech unit tech structures if they're trying to hide tech, for example. But here comes best. There's a mine there, unfortunately. He's going to be able to stall out that base for a little bit. But now he's going to grab that fourth base. 
And Flash at this point is very comfortable. He's got that wall of starting at that fourth base, and he's really just sitting pretty right here. Best at this point is, yeah, just again, continuously picking off units. Really, really smart, by the way. Again, you just need to do this as a pro if you're going to go Reavers ever. Um, the problem with low level Reaver players is that they, they go for the Reaver, right? And they only go use of harassment. Best knows that Flash has already got a ton of missed hurts out around his bases. He's not going to be able to effectively deal um, damage to the mineral lines of Flash. And now Flash is starting up his second armor right now. It's already, again, very, very quick. Um, and, by the way, as a Terran player, and as, as, a, as a player who does play Terran quite a bit, I, I'm kind of race switching to Protoss right now. Um, but as a Terran player, luckily for that double miss there, or one miss on those siege tanks, um, you need to move your units in position to take the base before you actually build the, the command center. You can't just wing it because Protoss with if with with enough dragoons if you start building the command center the dragoons will be able to get in position on time before you're able to get up into position as a terran player and that's so difficult to take bases after that so what flash did is what's really uh important is that he pushed up his units got siege mode start building turrets start building supply depots and then built the command center so he needed to build and get in position before best was able to get on top of that ridge So more missile turrets going up everywhere. He's got to be very careful, obviously, of the arbiters. Got to probably build a couple more missile. Yep, there you go. A couple more missile turrets here. Um, he knows, I think, that Best is has opted for it because he scanned bases around, and Best is like, "Oh, I don't have any bases." So, he, like, if you don't see the Protoss having bases, there's there's three different options or two options technically. One is tech structure, right? He's going big tech. So arbiters or carriers are generally the two big tech that that Protoss is going to go for. The other alternative option is. He's going for a big attack. He's going for a massive amount of attack. And they're great scan by Flash. Seen the Arbiters. Again, when you have scan, a lot of Terran players I realize don't do this. They save up their scans. Don't save up your scans. Do Use your scans to scout out all the different locations that Protoss is going for. You need to find out what tech structures they're going for. Here comes the Arbiter. He's got 150. He's got recall right now. Flash needed to move his units in position. It looks like I think he may be going for a fake for the Arbiter. But no, he's finally bringing units back in here. Here comes the recall. The Reaver is going to be in there. The shuttle is going to be there. The Arbiter does go down. The missile turret goes down. So the shuttle is going to be able to do, uh, uh, go kind of go free reign on here. The couple Zell is getting dropped right now. The Reaver going in uh, is going to try to do damage nice reaver sh uh, shot onto the siege tanks flash is gonna try to target on that reaver that's what you got to do as the terran players you got to find where the reavers and focus it down with those siege tanks here comes the recall unfortunately the problem with the recall is it's kind of in the back of the base he's kind of using flash using his supply depots to his advantage right now the recall is not gonna be able to do that much damage here he killed off the starport did he kill the starport i'm not even sure kill off the starport kill the science facility so that was pretty good on his part but the problem is right now the entire b unit um Count just melted, and Flash right now has got a 20 supply lead over uh, Best. And obviously, this is good for Best because he's trying to stall time for Flash. But Flash, he might go for a, just a huge like counterattack, and that's what's really scary. Is that once he goes for this big, big counterattack, it's so difficult for for us to really hold on. Um, and he's trying to macro up. He's trying to get back up his gateways. He's got this uh, lower left uh, position here. At the same time, there's this one random reaver over here that, that Bess is trying to take control of. And a uh, couple of scarabs. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. Yeah, not going to go anywhere. Um, Flash needs a couple of Goliaths. That's the only problem. Goliaths are such a good unit, dude. Shuttle goes down. Here goes the reaver. Scarab is going to dud out. Oh, never mind. It killed like six, six SCVs. Flash, you can see Flash's face like, what? No way, dude. Um, but yeah. Double Forge coming up for best as well. Definitely want to keep up with upgrades as a Protoss player. Obviously, upgrades are not as important, but definitely getting the uh, attack upgrades is very, very crucial as the Protoss player. Because if you think about it, the upgrade for it is you're getting plus two on every unit that you have. You're getting plus two on the Zealots. You're getting plus two on Dragoons. Um, it's very, 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 very important. Oh, Hallucination. Oh, I see Protoss players doing this all the time. Beast did this against Flash in the remaster. And this is a way to kind of hide where the first Arbor is. Could be a fake as well. A lot of players like to do is try to fake out the Terran army. Here it comes. Um... Looks like it's going to recall on top of the natural base. Flash is not actually prepared for this yet. Here come the Arbiters. Flash units going in position right now. I think he's going to try to drop a uh, recall on top. No, he's going to recall on top of the units here, not on top of the uh, on top of the factories. Really nice, good good recall here. He's not allowing Flash to siege up because if I were to siege up right now, these Zelts would just absolutely just destroy all of these uh, siege tanks. He's got a couple Zelts moving up here on top of these siege tanks. Oh, Flash just getting a macro cycle right when that happened. Really kind of unlucky there on, on best part for that to happen. 
But best again, just trying to delay time. This is the this is the uh, the reason why you go for arbiters and go for recalls. You're forcing the Pros the Terran player to defend uh, while you're getting up those bases. So now you can see best getting the the both the bottom left bases, both the main and the natural. He's probably gonna start expanding to the mineral only inside location at that bottom left as well. And this is where things start to turn for Peros. He's able to really stall out time, get that big gateway count up, get that macro cycle up, especially his best. And Flash, in the meantime, he needs to find an opportunity where he's able to move out. He needs to build a couple more missile turrets out. He needs to put some more spider mines down in his base, not let these recalls do too much. Because remember, the reason why Terran isn't able to move out just yet is because if he moves out, uh, they go for recall, go for counter recall. Counter recall, you're forced to bring back all of your units unless you're going to lose your entire production line or entire base or something like that. And look at this. Again, J you know, he's got this Arbiter coming back in here telling Flash, you can't move out yet. You just can't. You have to be able to respect my recall ability. And that's exactly what he's doing right now. Flash really needs to get EMP upgrades. He's floating a lot of minerals right now. He's got to build a couple more vultures, a couple more factories coming up. But once 2-1 finishes is where I think he can start pushing out. I don't know the upgrade situation just yet. 2-1. Uh, 2-1's two done now. So Flash, here it comes. Here's the big move out. And he's got a lot of spider mines now in his base. He's got a couple missile turrets in, 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 in pretty good locations. But yeah, like I said, Best is now finally able to start doing it. Great scam by Flash. She's the High Templar. He's going to be able to know that there's going to be a High Templar storm that's going to be coming out soon. Sees the army from uh, Best. Best is now maxed out. Here comes the Hallucination once again. And uh, here come the Arbiters gonna be another big recall flash sees this um and he's oh man i don't like this from flash i really think he needs to push out right now he's got a ton of missile turrets here uh, and he, i guess they're gonna go for recall right on top of his base but again this is best doesn't even need a recall he could lose his arbiter and not even care um but it looks like he is gonna go for the recall um is he gonna go for it uh maybe not yeah he's just gonna scout out with the arbiter oh no he is gonna go for the recall Oh my god, spider Mine softening up a lot of the units. Flash again, just automatically prepare for this. He literally just cleaned up his army in, in a matter of seconds. And that's the issue is that I don't think he should have gone for that recall. I think he should have just continued to macro, build more gateways, build more units. When Flash moves across those bridges is when you should go for a big attack. Try to trade armies and then continue to re-macro. Because remember, Terran takes a much longer time to re-macro up a, uh, an army because Siege Tank takes so long to build so if you're a Peros player definitely want to take this this uh the fight when you can and unfortunately for best right now he's not able to really stop flash from moving the crowd across those bridges and that's going to be an issue for flash Fla or for best best he's got the army upgrades he's got the the attack upgrades <laughs> nice storm by best and by be good storm i mean really terrible storm uh, but here comes a big fight, and again, this is the issue. Flash has just got so many siege tanks out right now. Best can almost never, ever fight this army head on. He needs to go for some more counterattacks. He needs to whittle down the force of Flash. He needs to cut off the reinforcements. But Flash, I mean, he's floating 4k minerals at this point. He's maxed out. He's going to start building more factories, going to get more vultures in position. But here, it's just a slow push, a slow agonizing push for Best right now. He's got only one Arbiter with his army right now. One EMP goes off and it's just done. He's got Storms with those High Templar though, which is good. That might turn the tide. Um, he's got to get he's got to get money Storms though. Here comes the tag. No, he's going to pull back a little bit more. He's got the Arbiter out in uh, on the side right now. Oh, EMP does not get the units so really good snipes off the the the, uh, the vessel that's really important what he might go for is a recall oh he's gonna go for recall on his fourth base here i don't know if there's any mines here from flash's perspective here comes the big recall recall a couple of mines were there but not enough damage to kill off the results to use flash is gonna go for a big counterattack here um he's gonna split off his army a couple of units are gonna go back oh best also counterattack he had this three o'clock expansion really good for best right now but this is where flash shines he's he knows exactly how many tanks he needs to kill off each of these bases remember don't use your entire army to kill off every single base of the Protoss. Just use three tanks, and yeah, now he's moving up to the natural base. He's gonna have to defend this three o'clock expansion, but look at this. This is what's important. Remember, you need to be able to make sure that when you're attacking, you're very efficient when attacking. Flash is the best at this. Look at this. Three siege tanks are able to kill off an entire base. There's a couple of vultures, a couple of goliaths there, just to be able to deal with um, the reinforcements um, of zealots that may come in, um, and that's what's really crucial. Flash losing this fourth base right here, but again, he's pushing into the base of Best. He's got this siege tank line. Best is now kind of run around, the, uh, bring his units around here from the 12 o'clock expansion to try to flank Flash's army. And I'm not sure if Flash has enough units right now. He's looks like he's getting pincered in. Yeah, great stasis on top of those siege tanks right there. Um, Spider Mine's going off on everything. Flash has taken down that nine o'clock position, so he does manage to take out a base with this. But in the process, he lost two bases of his own. He lost a twelve, and he lost a lot of mining here at this three o'clock base. So best right now is a very good position. You again, you just gotta make sure that you 
you know, Terran and Protoss units are very, very strong. So you can literally just send a couple units to each base and do a ton of damage with them. Um, you don't need to send in a big army. A lot of players make that big mistake is that they send in a huge, huge army to try to deal with the uh, opponent bases, but you don't need to. You just need to send in a couple. And uh, that's exactly what Flash and Best are really good at doing right now. Flash trying to reestablish himself. But Best only had managing to lose one base, really good on his part. Uh, Flash is now only mining off basically one, uh, two base at this point. He's mined out at his main, mined out as natural. Best I think is also mined out, but again, he's got that entire bottom left base to himself. He's going to start expanding to the uh, six o'clock position, start expanding across the map. Flash doesn't have those bottom um, uh, right bases for himself yet, although as Terran you don't really need to do that as much. He's trying to retake that Tuffle expansion, rebuild the command center there. He's actually trying to double expand right now, which is a triple expand, actually. Wow, Flash is really trying to go for this. I think it's because Best, he knows that Best is trying to really rebuild his infrastructure. But here comes another Arbor, here comes another good recall. Flash has seen it, he's moving his position. There's a lot of Spire Mines there, though, Best. This could be really dangerous for him. Here comes the recall! Oh, the Spire Mines gonna kill a ton of Dragoons. The Zealots are all really, really softened up right now. The Dragoons are in position, uh, and are in the very back, not able to really get on top of the Flash's units. Now look at this, yeah, Flash, he knows. Very, again, very efficient attack bait pattern with Flash. He knows that he only needs to send about 8 or so vultures and tanks to clean up that mess because all those dreams are very, very softened up. He knows that now the rest of his army can really push out. Best is now falling down to 180 supply. Uh, Flash is still near max. Actually, he's only at 190 supply. But this attack here, this is what's crucial. It's because Best's army, it looks like it's almost max right now, but the problem is that he's, most of his units are building right now. And Storms were kind of okay. It kind of stalled out the push, but again, he just doesn't have the unit count right now. Not enough zealots right here. Oh my goodness, this is really bad for Best. He just doesn't have any zealots with his army, and Flash just has a ton of siege tanks, and that's what really you need. You need a good, balanced composition right now. Oh my god, Flash has so many tanks! He's got that 3-3 on those tanks right now. Gonna push in again to this bottom left, I think, at this point. Flash, unfortunately, not able to really secure this 12 flag. And again, watch this. Three tanks, four or five tanks, bam. Now he moves the rest of his army to the top. And again, I can't stress this enough. When you're a Terran player, this is honestly how you get really good with Terran. You learn how to utilize your army as best as possible because... Terran, you need to have your big ball attacking. Another great recall by Best on top of the three, the, the three clock machine again from Flash. And he's going to go again, just counterattacking, counterattacking. Flash, though, I, ah, man, I don't like this. He's going for this mineral only here. I think he needs to attack the bottom right. I really do. The bottom right is what's really keeping Best in this game right now. He can kill the three o'clock. He can kill this mineral only. But at the, same, at the meantime, Best, the bulk of his mining, the bulk of it is at that bottom left. Flash is going to be able to pick off this base really quickly. And now, it looks like he's trying to sandwich Best Army here. Best Army, which is trying to go for a big counterattack here. Or maybe he doesn't even need to. I think his reinforcers are going to be good enough to pick off this army. Flash again, still max, double expanded. He's double expanded successfully. He's not got a lot of units left. But here comes the big attack onto this bottom left hand base. That's what's important right now. Best, I think that recall, oh, I don't know if that recall is worth it. I think he should recall like about eight or so units there. Would have been able to pick off easily the same way. But he's actually swung down with those units to this bottom uh, right hand base. Really good effectiveness. Stasis, big stasis. Stasis is catching four tanks out with a couple of vultures in there. Uh, Flash is able to pick up this, uh, this army, unfortunately, with that base at the bottom left. There's just way too many units. Another Stasis. I'm not sure how that went. Another huge Stasis. Looks like Best is actually going to be able to take this. And he's just got continuous Arbiter production. They're all always at high energy all the time. Really good. Flash is actually running out of minerals here. Best is still sitting on a comfortable 2k, 1k bank. Flash is desperately trying to expand right now. And... I guess Bess has really stalled out long enough for this Terran army to get really whittled down right now. But I think, uh, yeah, Flash has got a ton of unit stasis. That's going to be really scary once they get unstasis here. He's going to try to reinforce that army once he gets unstasis with more units. Best, he's got a reasonable sized army right now. Flash looks like he's actually falling apart by the seams right now. The stasis is starting to wear off. This is where Flash needs to push, his, uh, push the tempo right now. Because if he doesn't, he's going to lose all of his units down there. Here comes the big unstasis. Like I said, he's coming down here. Where's the EMP? Flash, I think his EMP has not been on point this game. The Arbors have been really crushing him right now. That's what's been going on. Flash has no money left. He's got no money. He's trying desperately again to expand. He needs more of an economy, but best, like I said, those bottom left bases were what really saved him this game. And I think that Flash made a big mistake going for that uh, the main uh, and natural unable to really break through here. And best is able to continuously re-macro. He's up 10 supply right now. He's Again, again, stalling time right now. He's got another recall, looks like. Or no, just more units streaming in here to this bottom right base. And if this base goes down, I don't know how he can really come back. I think Best has got a big army macroed up at that bottom left-hand base right now. He's trying to desperately uh, kill off this base at the same time. Flash, it looks like he's going to be able to defend uh, these couple of zealots here. But again, more units streaming in from Best, trying to kill off. Flash has no mining. 
That's the issue. Bess has still got a, uh, an okay bank. Flash isn't mining, right? He's not mining at all. He's still still kind of mining from that bottom. But oh my god, once his recall goes off, that might be game right there. Um, Flash really need, basically the, whatever you see of Flash's army right now is what's uh, is what's left. And that's what's really crucial here. Flash did not kill the bottom left main. That's what's crucial. He does he have spider mines. He's got spider mines, but oh my god, if a Rico goes on top of all his SCVs and the mines blow up all of his own SCVs, that's, that might be game as well. Flash is trying to save this base down here at this bottom left. EMP goes off, kills off all of the uh, energy on those arbors. Really good by Flash. But Flash lost his uh, top two bases there. He's, he's only mining off of one base. Best is still mining off of... Uh, looks like one base himself. Actually, he hasn't expanded Best did not expand to that third three o'clock anymore. I guess he realized that Flash just didn't kill it consistently and just didn't go for it. But right now, Flash's army, his entire army is out of position here. A lot more units streaming in for Best from this to uh, top position here. More Arbors coming in. He's actually going to pull back. I think the siege tanks are scaring him just a little bit. And he's re-expanding to the mineral only base. Really needs a couple of that. Yeah, there you go. And uh, this Goliath, the couple Goliaths are going to try to pick up these Arbiters. And actually one of them, it will go down. So really nice to go by Flash. This that game is actually starting to get much closer than I expected. But I still think Best has a slight, maybe a slight advantage. But he needs to uh, deal some damage to the mining of Flash down there at that base. I think the, the recalls, I don't think he should go for anymore unless he's at that bottom right. I don't think he should go for recalls in the main anymore. Because of the fact that he's already got, uh, Flash has already got a, a big chunk of spider mines in that main. He's not going to be able to really effectively get damage done. So Flash, yeah, he's just kind of defending right now. This is where the game goes back in a little. Both players have been just trading blows. What a great game, I got to say. Um, but, you know, again, this is what's really important for any player uh, uh, that is... Um, Zergs do this really easily because, you know, you're sending like 12 lings into a base of crack upgrade and you can kill a base in like two seconds. But for Protoss and Terran, you know, for Zer for Protoss, you know, a good idea. Oh, here comes a big attack though. Hold that thought. Here comes a big attack. Trying to run up the ramp. Oh my god, Zealot's getting stuck. But it's just so difficult. Great stasis, by the way. He's got five tanks up there. But oh my god, I think, I think Flash just doesn't have it. His units again are out of position. He's trying to desperately uh, go a uh, counterattack at the other base of, uh, best but here come the zealots the zealots are going in storm on top of tanks more storms on the tanks the zealots are getting into the the line zealots gonna do it. i think best has got this game he's gonna kill off this last money base of flash oh my goodness has he done it has he beaten flash to scan on that base there's the gg best wins nicely played by best pretty sick game i gotta say and uh so i, I just want to go back a little bit so what's really crucial is uh, there's a lot of things to take away from this game. Well, number one, recall. Again, you can look at the supply difference here, right? Here's the first recall. Okay. The first recall flash as I think it looked like 160 supply. Okay. If you look, I'm not sure if you can see my mouse, but he's at 160 supply. Best, I think it looks like at about 140. I can't tell because it's on top of supply. Yeah, like 140 supply. Once he loses the rest of his army, right? He's below supply right now. He's at uh, 130, 120. Flash is up at 150. The reason why this is okay at this position right here in the game is because best, Flash's entire army, where's the bulk of Flash's supply? It's in the base, right? It's in the base of his own. He's defending. So he can't push out into the middle of the map here. And what this means is that best, with this kind of bang, he's able to establish his bottom left base. He's able to establish the mineral, uh, the, the, the natural of the bottom left. And then again, where's another recall? Let's find it. I'm going to recall that came in again. This is again. Flash at 160 supply looks like. Best looks like at 160 as well. Uh, so these at this point, the reason why you see the supply of Best kind of staying high is because he's got the gateway count now. He's got the gateways at this bottom left base. He's got a ton of gateways in his main. He's macroing at a very efficient pace. So even though you look at this, right? It's like, oh, wow, Flash hardly lost any units. You're right. Flash didn't lose many units, but Best has the macro. So even though he can throw away all these units, all he's doing right now is buying a ton of time for these bases on this uh, left-hand side to start kicking in. And then we're going to see when Flash pushes out, unless there's another recall that goes on. Yeah, here's another recall. This recall I didn't like. This, I think, was a mistake recall, but Flash didn't really push the advantage here. I think Flash really should have kind of counterattacked right after this recall happened. They're both at max supply, ready? So they're both at max supply. Let's see what happens here. Here comes the recall. Look at these spider mines. Kill off the entire top of that recall. More spider mines soften up all these zealots. And look, literally killed off in... So when does the recall start? Hold on. Starts at... 
1633. I'll, as soon as the recall goes, I'm going to start counting. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. The recall is over in six seconds, right? All the units basically died in six seconds. Flash needs to counterattack here. He's maxed. If he Steve keeps sitting in the base, he's not going to be able to do anything. Best lost a ton of units there. He probably lost about 30 supply. But again, he's got the left. The bottom left is all kicked in now, right? This main base is kicked in. The natural is kicked in. The middle only hasn't kicked in just yet. He's building it right now. But the gateway count has kicked in. He's got about six or eight gateways, yeah, at this bottom base. He's really macroing really hard off of these. And already, look, he's already back to max, right? He's got double Stargate producing Arbiters. Really important that you want to keep up that Arbiter production. And Flash is just now moving out. You are 1730 into the game and you're just moving out as Terran. You need to be moving out about 15 minutes. But again, you know, two base Arbiter, that's what happens is that you kind of get pinned back in your base. I honestly think that Flash shouldn't have moved back his entire army. I think he should have just left back a couple. Let the, let the, let the recall do more damage, but also be faster on the push out. Because again, the, the idea is, is that when you have the... When you have the recall go in, right? The Pros has already committed those units, right? The 30 to 40 supply worth of units by, by Pros is already been committed. You can't bring those units out unless you have another recall that brings them out, which will never happen, right? You, you're committed with 40 supply. You can let them deal, kill off a couple more supply depots, you know, do a little more damage, and, and commit only about 30 supply worth of units. Again, supply mines also help. Commit 30 supply of your own units, and with the rest of your 170 supply of mech, push out across the map because the Pros only has about 160 supply left and although it the 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 uh production will say that he's at 2200 supplies because the units are building right now that's what's key you know when you see production remember that part of the production is units that are currently building so it's so even though it looks like when they go when you know when 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 best is at 200 supply right now he's actually still at about 170 have units on the field Flash is maxed with units on the field, right? So it's actually looking more like 170 worth of supply against 140 or 50 worth of supply against the Pros. And when Terran has a supply advantage, it's so difficult to break. So let's continue on here again, looking back. This is again really important. Where is it? So again, this is why Flash is able to really roll through Best Army. Best here used three Zealots and two Dragoons to do a considerable amount of economic damage to Flash. Notice how Flash is not mining at all from this top patch, and he's going like three three guys on minerals in this bottom patch. Does a really good job of it, killed off a ton of SCVs here, and again, another recall up at this fourth base with not too many units, not a full 40, 40 supply recall, but a couple. Flash in this meantime, look at Flash's point of perspective, he's got two Vultures here, two Goliaths, and then three tanks here to kill off this base. The rest of his army, again, like I said, I think he should have killed off this bottom. I think maybe he didn't scout it. He should have attacked these couple bases here because there's no units down there he's only got a couple of like eight zealots put spider mines right next to these tanks here at this position and then as you go down across the bridges and then kill these bases very quickly i think flash's critical mistake in this game was he went after the bases that were no longer relevant the main base the natural base of best is no longer relevant he's not really mining from it the nat the main the middle only again not really mining from it too hard so he needed to do a better job by the way these stasis were really really good and um, again, Flash used too many units. This again, you know, again, this is why supply is not an end all be all to games. Um, is look at the Flash's units, right? He committed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight tanks and Goliath. There was nothing down here. Look at best point perspective. He has nothing down here at the bottom right. And Flash thought he did because he thought there's a base coming down here. Then Bess has only got about a couple of Dragoons here and a couple of Zealots. That is not a worthwhile trade for Flash. Let's see if, he, if, if either of them will, will, come, will come in front of this. Um, so again, he loses his base, which is good for Flash. But the problem with Flash is he didn't really, again, three Zealot attack here kills off a decent amount of SCVs. Again, you're utilizing too many resources here, right? Again, look at Flash, 150 supply. Bess looks like at about 150 supply, right? But look where the supply is. Flash's supply is, he's got like 30 supply worth of units defending three Zealots. Best in the meantime is counterattacking with reasonable amount of Zealots and killing off a sizable amount of siege tanks, right? Look at this, three Zealots and, he, and Flash brought his entire army back. So when you're a player of any caliber, you need to understand that you need to 
not overreact to defending. And a lot of amateurs do this. And even Flash does this, as you can see. A lot of amateurs do this is that when they see any kind of attack go on, any harassment, like they see four vultures come into their base, they'll send like 12 Dragoons to deal with it. You only need like eight Zealots to deal with it, man. You don't need to send in that many units. So at the end of the day, I think what ultimately happened in this game was Bass was more efficient, efficient with his attacks. Even though it looks like Flash had more units overall in the game and didn't lose as many, Bass was more efficient with where he was attacking with those units. So I think the biggest things to point out in this game were obviously, again, with Flash, um, you know, attack, uh, both players attack with, with small amount of units um, because you, you're counterattacking other positions of the map, right? Flash knows that Best cannot really deal with this base here at the, three, uh, the 9 o'clock expansion for a very long period of time because of the fact that he's pushing with the rest of his army to another base. So Best's main focus is dealing with the big army and then with the small harassment army and then just being more efficient with where your army placement is. So if you guys enjoyed this analysis of this game, uh, good game, really great game between Flash and, uh, Flash and Best. I would give this probably like an A, A minus level of game. It was a great game, really well played from both sides. And uh, like I said, we're continuing off this series and uh, analyze this. Send me replays, send me uh, games that you want to see analyzed, and I will definitely be on top of those. So thank you so much, and I will see you guys next time.